hello everyone so in this video we will just uh, extend over that example and what we will try to see is uh, where are we on that so we have already seen the index.css we created a container container section section and footer so this is the basic layout now we can just play around with this uh, basic design and we will try to add few things in the elements and we will try to understand the basic html tags similarly we used a uh, ordered list and an uh, ordered list and an ordered list like this is how you can do it so now this is section is your body part okay now what you can do is we already have the styles added for the section content section padding and all these things section h2 is this so you can just keep adding your content so this is basic thing about order list and ordered list now another thing is you can add your more content inside it so this what this is doing is okay let's put some tags h2 and tags now uh, important thing is how you, you can style these nodes okay we have a wrapper we have a content and we have a section so section is actually native tag of html5 and what we are doing with this uh, you can see section h2 you, we didn't put a dot because section is not a class section is an html tag i will try to zoom it a little bit i think yeah so section is a html tag so we are using section h2 h2 is also tag section is a tag but if you are using some class so now how can I customize, how can I style this particular class, cities? So either you can just put a cities and just start, start, start writing whatever you want. Otherwise, inside section you have a cities. These are the, uh, the class rules which you will learn. Cities and now we have h2 and paragraph tag also. In the, the modern CSS, you can, you can do it in the many different ways because paragraph is a tag so you don't need a dot. Similarly, we have h2 tag inside cities. This I'm talking about h2 and paragraph tag in class cities. Okay, that is inside section. Section cities h2 and paragraph tag. So now we can start styling. Okay, so we can see the background color. Okay, blue. And for paragraph color, we can see color should be white. Right, background color and you can also put a padding for every section okay i have a padding of 10 pixels then they will be they will get merged okay so what we can do is for every section so now we have this section and section has all cities right so what we can do is after every city we wanted to put a margin also so every city will have a margin from one another right now 10 pixel margin is there from one city to another city and we just put a background color here we can just make it little nice let's see my background color so and we just make it little black the default color is black i think so we don't need to specify colors now i mean that depends so if you wanted to just uh, provide a font size font family all the different variants font weight so in font we generally use the font size font style and font family font width font size you can specify i mean paragraph has its default font size but if you want to just customize it then you can provide it then you have to take care of the responsiveness and all okay i mean you can give a font size in m's rems or pixels Okay, there are different ways of giving it. So here we, you can say we created a section, we put a margin padding, so it's like look like a nice list items, right? All the cities and how we are providing the styles for tags, we are just putting a directly text, but for the classes, we are putting dot and you can also put a IDs. But here, these are the same kind of sections, so you can if you wanted to put a IDs, so you can say I can say CT1, similarly, CT2, CT3, CT4, and for IDs. If you wanted to apply the styles on IDs, then you just need to take care of one single thing is you just need to put a hash before specifying the style. I mean not here. So in the content we have a section and then city one. In the content section one, so if you wanted to apply the same style for the ID, Right. this is how you will do it so here what it is saying 
inside a section element if you see this mouse over coming off section and this is the idct1 so this style will be applied only for the idct1 which is inside section okay i hope uh, these things are clear now how to style a class how to style a id how to style a html tag which can be h1 to paragraph tag which can be simple section header footer all these things okay in the next video we'll just try to ramp up uh, this particular uh, design a little bit more